<laughs> All righty. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah. <coughs> Hello. Let's get situated here. Ella, have a seat. I have to say that Miss Ella is uh, singing today. She's when I ask her a question, <coughs> she answers me in song. So, all right, very good. Well, good afternoon. Yeah, welcome to good. welcome to Thursday Talk. I'm Pastor Rick, and this is Ella Victory. <coughs> and um, we'll be with you for this this half hour. Uh, just want to encourage you today and share some some things from God's Word and some things that God put on Ella's heart, which she didn't tell me what they were, but uh, I'm trusting the Lord that it's going to be edifying and helpful for us and pleasing to Him. I know it will be. Uh, Ella, why don't we open up with a word of prayer? Okay. Do you want to pray? Do you want me to pray? Sure. Will you pray? Okay, let's let's pray, everyone. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I hope we have a great time. Yes, and Lord. I hope you just bless us and let us do a great time, a great thing. And let us have good words to yes. speak. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to tell everyone, and Ella, I didn't tell you this, but I woke up this morning yes. with a certain lightness in my heart, a certain relief, a certain, I don't know, blessing on my, on my life. And um, I can't say I always wake up like that, but it reminded me of something in Lamentations chapter 3. Um, in verses 22 and 23 and 24. So I want to read that as we get started today. Okay. But uh, Lamentations 3, 22, it says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. Um, you know, his, his, the, the holiness of God and the, the presence of God, if we weren't protected by His love and mercy, we would be consumed because of our unholiness but it says that they are new every morning great is your faithfulness there's an old great hymn great is thy faithfulness and his mercy is new every morning the lord is my portion so the lord is what i need every day my portion he gives me what i need and let's see and then um therefore i hope in him so i woke up this morning ella feeling I felt good. I felt happy. I felt, I felt like everything is going to be all right. You know, sometimes I wake up a little bit heavy, but I'm grateful that today I felt the presence of God and the peace of God, and I wanted to share that with everyone. Lamentations 3, uh, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, let me just go on here for a second and see who's on here today. Uh, hello, Jason. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Veronica. Good to see you today. Hello, Angela. And uh, Tony and James, all right, all right, great to see the joy of the Lord in you. Ella, yeah, so what I was getting at, come to think of it, was that I think that you also have the, uh, the mercy of God and the joy of the Lord on your heart today. Yes. As, as I was saying, uh, I asked Ella a question and she answered me by singing. Are you going to sing this message today? Yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. And I don't I'm not personally I'm not really sure oops where we're going today with this devotional. But uh I believe the Lord has anointed Ella uh to share the word and the and the concept with us. Hello Lorinda. God bless you. So Ella, what are you what are you thinking about today? Well, this week we were under the weather. We didn't feel so good. Under the weather. Does anyone ever feel like you're under the weather? I noticed the the pips. Now, now when I say the pips, the pips are my three grandkids, Ava, Jack, and Ella. So this is pip number three. But the pips were under the weather, and so yeah, everyone was kind of like kind of sickly, and somebody had a little temperature, and someone was down in the dumps. So what's going on? Hey, Stacy. Oh. Can I say something? Yeah. Uh, Stacy just reminded us. We, we do have a new thing uh, at the church here. <clears throat> we have, we have <clears throat> excuse me, we have hoodies and t-shirts and, and long sleeve shirts. Different products that, that, that promote new life. We have a store. 
store. We have a store. And so if you go to, let's see, Stacy put it up here. If you go to bonfire.com yeah. slash store slash new life paper. Okay, so bonfire.com. It's not on Facebook. Just go to that website and go to the store. Go to new dash life dash Haverhill. Uh, you'll see all of our product there. You may want to. And then put another dash. You may want to go there and purchase some items. They're great for Christmas presents or gifts for people. So we have hoodies, t shirts, men's and women's, children's. And different things like that. So, yeah. So, thank you, Stacy, for doing that. That's a wonderful thing. So, yesterday yes. was really fun. You know why? Why? Well, you know Samaritan's Purse? Samaritan's Purse. It's where you put presents for kids who don't get presents because they're poor. I'm Christian. I, you know, I do know a little about a bit about Samaritan's Purse. Samaritan's Purse uh, is a part of the ministry of... The Franklin Graham Ministry. Uh, Franklin, of course, is the son of Billy. Uh, and Franklin Graham has this ministry where he goes all over the world, actually, uh, to bring relief, to bring medical supplies and personal items and gifts to people that are in need. So what's this now? So it's called a Samaritan's Purse. And you get this box, and you go to the store and buy little stuff to put in it. Like, it says you can do a girl, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, or a boy, 5 to 9. All right, so can I ask you a few 13. questions about this? Yes. How big is the box? Oh, well, it's like about... Just show, like, like about this big? Like, like this big. All right. And, and there's a, is there a top on it, or how? Yes, you open okay. it. Okay. And, and uh, what color is it? Well, red and green. So it's kind of like a special box, right? Yeah. And then you put a label on it. Okay. And you check off girl if you're doing girl. Or okay. Boy, and you, the age you're doing. So they give you a little guideline. Let's say you pick a girl, a girl that's age nine like you. Five to nine. Five to nine. And then they give you a little checklist of what to get? No, you can get whatever you, get you want. get wherever you want. But they say not to do like toothpaste or like drinks or like liquid okay. okay so what what should we get like clothing well i did girls five to nine okay and i put a little doll a little stuffed animal oh a toothbrush okay a water bottle okay a shirt a hat and gloves oh okay a bar of soap because that's what they suggested yeah good and this tiny one. So, do you fill it up to the top? Yes. You make it as far as ten. Okay. We're going to put, like, pencils and crayons in it. Okay, so. great. So, our, now, I think, so, I think Hannah, you know, know Hannah at church? Mm -hmm. Hannah, Hannah Dieterle, uh brought this to our attention. So, this year, uh, for the Christmas season, we're going to have these boxes available for people, aren't we? Yeah. And so we'll give them out to whoever wants them? Yeah. Okay, so uh, those of you at New Life, you could stay tuned. We'll make some announcements on Sundays about this. We want to get it all ready for the holidays. Yeah. But you should, you do your age. Like Ava did a girl 10 to 14 because she's 11. Right. Okay. And she put, and we put the stuff that we like yeah. in it. Okay. Because it's for girls and boys our age. Well, I have a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. So, do you have to do people your age? Like, no. what if what if someone doesn't have children? Or what if the child is 18 or 20? We could just do anything? We just pick a, a child's age and do it that way? No, there, it's up to 14. Oh, up to 14. Okay, so if you're a, an adult and you don't have any children, you could do it. They could do it, too, though, right? They could just pick a, a child up to that age and get the age group and go to the store and get some stuff and fill it up. Well, but that you would be... never know who you're giving it to. Right, right. So you give it back to Samaritan's Purse and then they distribute it to people that are in need. I think whichever girl that's getting it will really like it. Your stuff? Yeah. I and think so. You, you get the sticker that you rip off and you check off the girl in the age. Okay, so... But then is... attached to the sticker, yeah. there's... 
well, next to the sticker that you peel off, there's this thing that you can scan with your phone oh. and track where it's going. Oh, it's pretty high tech, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, that's pretty good. So it's really organized and very structured. So uh, we'll make more of that information available to the church. But uh, hey, Hannah's on. Hannah, we were just talking about you with uh, the, the uh, Samaritan's Purse boxes. Uh, we'll be uh, sharing that information at the church. And uh, hopefully some of our people will get involved and get things ready I, for I, Christmas. I really like doing that. Yeah. I want to do another one. But I think I'm going to do a boy next time if okay. I do it because we already did a girl. Good, good. Well, I think that's great. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Yeah, well... All right, so what else is on the agenda today on Thursday Talk? Well... This is called not, not Just Another Snowflake in the Crowd. And it talks, well, first of all, you know when me and Mommy did it? We talked about being unique and that stuff? Yes. Well, we're kind of continuing that. Alrighty. So you and Mommy did Thursday, or you did Tuesday talk last week, I believe it was, because Pop and Gigi were in New York that day. And it seems like our theme is to remind the church who they are. I'm all in favor of doing so, that. The scripture is Genesis sixteen thirteen. You are the God who sees me. Ooh. Hmm. So the idea is we're just not we're not just another snowflake in the cr crowd. Nope. I like that. So, well, there's something about snowflakes, right? I guess that's what the lesson's going to be about. So, in other words, we may feel like we're invisible, or we may feel like we're unimportant, or, you know, we may feel like we get passed by. But the teaching today reminds us, Genesis 16, 13, you are the God that sees me. God sees us, each one of us, and all of our imperfections and all of our weakness and all of our strength God sees us God's God loves us as we are and we're all different aren't we so let's read the story now all right let's read the story snowflakes so beautiful so soft and so icy cold one snowflake is like is a tiny delicate thing easy Easily melted by the touch of your finger. Can I just say something? Yes. I, 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 you know, we're in October. It's starting to get a little cooler, but today's a nice day. Yeah. But the, 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 you know, the leaves coming down and the leaves turning colors remind me that summer is behind us. Winter is coming. And uh, with winter up here in New England, usually comes a lot of snow. And I want everyone to be thinking about snow um, as we go through this lesson today. So, the first thing, want to read that again about what a snowflake is? Okay. I'm just going to close this door. Okay. But if you put a bunch of them together, then they can blanket the world in shivering white. white. And shimmering white, or come crashing down a mountain in an avalanche that destroys everything in its path. Yeah, that, well, Even let's hope that you. that doesn't. But you know what? I love sometimes when I wake up in the morning and it just snows a little bit during the night, and I didn't know that it snowed. I look out the window and everything's white. I know, I love that. <laughs> when you know it's gonna snow, but then you're like, but it's not that close to when. Christmas or like winter, right. and it's not supposed to snow that much. <laughs> and then you go to sleep waiting for a tiny bit of snow, and then there are mountains of snow. <laughs> yeah, because when you plow them, you push them to the side on the grass, and there's melting. Snow yes, and layers. many times I'll have to get a, I'll have to leave a snow shovel on the back porch, because I can't even get out of the, I can't even get off the porch. I have to shovel the steps. I know. And shovel the sidewalk before I could even get going. What if one time the snow was up to the door and you had to dig a hole? Well, you know what I would do? 
I think I'd stay inside. And maybe maybe during the day it would melt a little bit or something before I venture out. Or you dig a hole up Ooh. and then you play in there. Make a tunnel in the snow. Uh, you could. Okay. And then, and then you get a ladder and hook it to the ceiling part. And then you climb up. Wow. Hey, look at what James Carter wrote. Only eight Mondays till... Oh, is that right? Woo! That's pretty soon, actually. But... Wait. November and December. Eight Mondays. Four, four weeks in a month. Two months. Oh, my goodness. It'll be here before you know it. I know. All right. So... You know what sometimes I want to do? What? Sometimes I want to... Forget about the fun things happening, so I'm not so excited about it. <laughs> and then when the day comes, I can be so excited. Yeah, yeah. Well, but I never do. <laughs> it's hard to do that. <laughs> well, let's continue with the story about snowflakes. Okay. A snowflake forms high up in the clouds when a tiny water droplet freezes into an ice crystal. Hmm. But first, you need to learn how water is how rain is made. So, how the little droplet of water gets. So, whatever. the water is up in the clouds somewhere, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Water evaporates in the cold cloud attached to the frozen crystal and stretch. And. Okay. Water <laughs> vapors in the cloud the attached to the frozen crystal and stretch the snowflake. Into amazingly complex and creative shapes. Though the basic shape of a snowflake is almost always a hexagon, a shape with six sides, which each snowflake becomes its own unique creation. Wait a minute. Each snowflake? Is different. Each one? Mm-hmm. Every single one. Cause like every single person is different. Well, that's true, but I never knew that about us. You know, so when it snows so much and it's coming down, as they say, like cats and dogs. I know that's rain, but still, the application yeah. is good. So all that, all those different flakes are—they're all different than each other. Yeah. That is amazing. That is really amazing. Though it's hard to tell when you're all jumbled together in a big pile or stuck together in the snowman. Yeah. No two snowflakes are exactly the same but created them each to be unique wow so we have built snowmen yes and we get all that snow and put it together and you you would never know that they were individual snowflakes mm -hmm. but they're all Unless different you get a really close i'm going to check that thing. out this winter i'm going to i'm going to get one snow i'm going to get a couple of snowflakes and put them on my hand and see how they're different they'll melt well, I'll do it real quick. If you get a black sweatshirt on and they fall on your sweatshirt, you can see them even better. Well, that's, that's a very good idea. Yeah, because one time it was like just snow drizzling. Yeah. And it you got it? all over the stuff. And there was one on my arm. And it looked <laughs> so pretty. Wow. But it was freezing though. All right. So what's next on this story? Do you ever feel like you're just another person in the crowd? Yes, I do. That there's nothing special about you? Yes, I do. <laughs> if you ever thought that, you're wrong. Oh, good. People have certain things in common. Yes. Just as most as snowflakes are hexagons. Mm -hmm. But other things about you are just you. Well. God created you. Uniquely. You, unique, uniquely. Uniquely. Oh my god. Un uniquely. Uniquely. You're never just another snowflake or person in the crowd. Wow. God sees you. He sees when you're frightened and when you're lonely. Mm -hmm. He sees what you need and he sees your hopes and dreams. All right. God sees you and loves you and understands you. You're always someone special to God. Oh. And we did that all in 
20 minutes. 20 minutes. So we have 10 minutes to go, but I want to just share something. Psalm 139, and we've been referring to Psalm 139 a lot. Yeah. I think it's verse, I think it's verse 14 or 15, but it says, uh, I will praise you, Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. David wrote that under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, but you know, David had some problems in his life. He had committed some very grievous sins and made some very bad decisions. And he probably had reason to not feel so good about himself at times. But when he wrote Psalm 139, he said, I will praise you, Lord, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made, and that my soul knows. So he was able to get to a place where he understood that he was made by God, and his innermost being, his soul knew that God made him to be good, to, to, make, to God made him to be creative and to be happy and to be fulfilled in life. So on that day, he was he was realizing that. And and uh, last night at our Bible study, we looked at the word fearfully. Uh, fearfully means um, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. In other words, made in such a way that we have a capacity in our heart and mind and soul and spirit to allow Christ to come in, which is reminiscent of Genesis, uh, I think it's 2-7, where God made man out of, the, out, of the, uh, out of the earth of the ground and breathed life into him, and man became a living being, and that living being was fearfully and wonderfully made with a capacity within their spirit to be, to be born again into the kingdom of God. So whatever, first of all, it's important to come to a place in our lives where we accept Jesus yeah. as our Savior. And then after we've done that, we need to understand as a child of God, uh, the Lord, the Lord is, is not done with us just because we got saved. He, he wants to continue working in our lives through all the mountaintops and all the valleys and all the ups and downs that we go through. Uh, but we're, we're, we're like a snowflake. We're, we're uniquely made, and we react to things differently, and we need different things from the Lord, too. But God is faithful to give us exactly what we need. And someone wants to hear you sing. You have a song you can sing? Ta-da! Well, I can sing. You want to, want to sing that part? Okay. Okay, what's the little introduction for that part? Be amazed. Be amazed. Okay, Ella's going to give us the be amazed part. No one else is like you on the planet. Not now or ever. Mm -hmm. Just check out your fingerprints. Even like identical. identical twins don't have the same ones. And that's not all unique about you. Science and science. Can know you, the retinas of your <laughs> eyes, the shape of your ears, and even your tongue print. Ooh, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> to and identify you. you. Because no one else are like you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I see a fingerprint on here, too. So your fingerprint's different than my fingerprint. Yes. In fact, nobody has a fingerprint like you, and nobody has a fingerprint like me. Wonder that is they, amazing. wonder if they drew this or put their fingerprint. Well, let's show everybody what we're talking about. We have a fingerprint here. Yeah. So your fingerprints are unique. Hey, James Carter said that he's heard that you wrote a song. You know what, Ella? I have to get something. I'll be right back. Can you, okay. you know what he's talking about? Yes. Can you yes. sing it? I don't know. Oh, well, I'm going to show everyone the prayer that you made up. Well, anyway, so yes, I made up a song. All right, so someone in the church heard our program last week, and Ella made up a, a prayer. Oh, this is the wrong one. Uh... And the prayer says, oh, I don't have that one. You have that one. Yeah. Okay, so the prayer was, <laughs> that was Molly. The prayer was, uh, every day pray. 
And someone made a face mask with that the phrase everyday pray. You can go okay, go ahead. This is a face mask that says new life. So like that. And uh, someone made that and someone made made bibs. The new life bib, which is really kind of cool. So we'll be uh, passing these out to little to families that have little children. And uh, also, this is another coffee cup. Although uh, we have coffee cups that are black on the outside and green on the inside. And so Stacy said all that's on, on her Facebook page. So you have your little uh, little prayer? Yeah. So someone at the church, like Pop said, saw this video and got inspired and made me a mask that says... Every day pray. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So that's a good little saying to remember. And uh, you can even sing it if you'd like. Every day pray. Every day pray. Every day pray. Every day pray. You got to pray every day. This is what we say. This is what Jesus says. All right. So anyway, let's go back over here. All right. So what else we have here? We have anything else? Oh, it's almost time to close it up. Well, I have my special words. Well, let's let's have it. So the first one is God sees you. The second one is He understands you. Whoa. Okay. The third one is the Holy Spirit will lead you. Wow, three takeaways for the day. So if you have a if you want to write these down or write them on your iPhone. It under your is. notes or whatever. Number one is... God sees you. God sees you. Wait, so, so listen. God sees you. Whatever you're dealing with today, whatever struggle, whatever problem, whatever victory, God sees you. So Genesis 16, 13. That's, there's a scriptural basis for what we're saying. So God sees you. Number two. He understands you. Woo! Because he made us. Of course he understands us. Read Psalm 139. That whole thing is great about God being our creator. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will lead us. You know, Jesus said before he ascended into heaven, he said, I will send you the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to leave you alone. He said, I won't leave you alone. The Holy Spirit will come to guide you, to teach you, to comfort you, to help you, etc., etc., etc. Uh that means, um, <laughs> what does etc. mean? It means, and so forth. All right, Ella, I think we better wrap it up. If anyone's got a prayer request, you could write it on there, and I'll, I'll get to it later. But thank you all for joining us. Uh, I think there's 11 people or so on here. Veronica, um, good to have you join us today. Not sure how you heard about us, but glad that you did. Um, and everyone else... Uh, so good to see you. Oh, say, your mom says, and so on, etc., etc., etc. Means and so on, and on and on and on and on we go. Yeah. All right. So I think we need to wrap it up. Let me just say, there's a men's Zoom meeting tonight at seven. There's a. Uh, oh, Jason said, "What was the third uh, one?" Yeah. We'll tell you, Jason, right here. We did the first. Okay. Number one is God sees you. Number two is He understands. He you. understands you. Number Third three. one is the Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will lead you. The Lord said, "We will. I will not leave you alone. He will send the Holy Spirit. So God sees us, God understands us, and God has sent the Holy Spirit to help us. Amen. All right. Well, okay, so men's Zoom meeting tonight, a discipleship tonight at 6 at the church for new believers, uh, ladies' fellowship, sisterhood at the church tomorrow. Uh, please, ladies, avail yourself to that. And then uh, Sunday we'll be at church. There is a water baptism on Sunday night after the prayer meeting. Uh, so if you need to get baptized, let us know and we'll give you more info. Okay, Ella, why don't you pray and then I'll pray. Lord, when I felt like I'm nobody special, remind me that I'm always special to you. Yes. You know me inside and out. And you created me for a unique and special purpose. Thank you, Lord. 
Father, help us to remember Genesis 16, 13, that you are the God that sees me. You see all of us, but you see me individually. So thank you, Lord, that you're not a God that's far, far away. You're near to us. May your Holy Spirit uh, remind us of this all the time. May we have a good day today. Lord, for anyone who's sick, we pray for healing. For anyone who's discouraged, we pray for encouragement. For anyone that's doing well, we say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless our day and bless the various ministries of the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we love you, and uh, we'll see you soon, okay? Okay. Oops. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.